Look for clues inside the opera house. Okay. I'm going. I'm going. I'm investigating a murder, entering a new nation, and I became a lawyer. No one left the opera house during the magic show. And after the incident happened, only those who had their, their identities cleared by the guards could leave. Cool. Let's find some more shit. Welcome back to finding out the murderer. We're about to enter the opera house and talk to some people. We're gonna need Jenny. We're gonna need Jennifer. Come on down. Hey, Esmond, you got something to say? Go ahead. Have a look around. Huh? Why are you suddenly so serious, Traveler? Shit, I don't know, Paimon. Maybe it's because we're literally investigating a murder. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to go and Understood. get the murderer free. Just so you're aware, I will be monitoring your actions and making notes as necessary. Even when I have to poop? You've arrived. Uh, who's this? This is my lawyer. Me? <laughs> I'm Spina de Rosula's guardian angel. If you've got a problem, I've got the firepower. All right there, Peaky Blinders. Uh, da, da, da. Damn, look at the frame rate in this room. It's so good. Looking around at the speed of sound, and I have places to go, and I must follow the tracks. Let's just sort out our findings together here. Pity. I was hoping to take you to try some of Fontaine's famous desserts, too. I mean, what better way to properly think through our findings than over some tea and sweets? Tea and sweets? Huh. Hell yeah. Breaking out suddenly doesn't seem like such a bad idea after all. I'm on. Just kidding, just kidding. Someone died. Ah, oh, finally, you're back. Well, how did your investigation go? Horrible. You're you're fucked. I'm sorry. Well now, don't you all look disappointed? Don't tell me that your investigation came up empty-handed. You sound like you just murdered five children. That was to be expected, of course. The guilty can never produce proof of their innocence. But don't let that stop you. I shall be terribly disappointed should you, my most anticipated foe, concede so easily. Oh, just you wait, why I oughta. Since both parties are present, I declare that the trial regarding the magic show incident is now in session. Yay! Clap, everyone clapped and they're cheering. And then someone's coming down like popcorn. I'm not gonna let the name go to jail. Give him the defense of the world. Lene clearly reveals the details of the magic trick everyone in the audience Thank is stunned. Thank you, Mr. Linny. In that case, I take your statement to be that... I admit it. You ran to and remained hidden within the magic box in the audience stands once the trick began, and thus could not have committed the crime. Is this correct? He's trying to come back. He's, kind of, he's trying to come back in time to stop me from making a decision that I don't know what I made. In that case, I call upon the prosecution. Lady Farina, do you wish to refute his statement in any way? So what does she know about it? What does she know about it? Tell me, aren't you and Lynette actually from the House of the Heart? What the hell does that have to do anything about the murder? The House of the Heart? They're but what? No, 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 no! I've got a feeling that what happened on stage probably wasn't just an accident. I'm gonna believe this B-word and, and not me? That's irrelevant. Our identities have nothing to do with what happened. Indeed. Then perhaps you could tell us everything that happened during that one minute. Literally getting the trick ready. What? What? Girl, man. Are these claims true? <sighs> Just say no. Just say no. You'll screw up this defense for me. Like a real lawyer will make you do. Just say no. Yes. They're true, Your Honor. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Permission to speak, My Honor? Granted. Hell yeah. My client has withheld some key information. In that case, what is your request? I request a brief adjournment. There are things that must be discussed. Is that really necessary? They're already as good as guilty. This is not how justice works. What the hell is wrong with this nation? The joy of victory to steep for a little while longer. <laughs> That's interesting. 
but this Kit Kat's more better. Talk to well, me now. This is awkward. I didn't think the Hydro Archon would dig all that up. It's a trial. What do you expect? Genshin Easter Egg. If you come here and hit this with the weapon, one, two, three, four, bam, it starts playing Gundam style. Let us continue the trial. When last we left off, Mr. Linney acknowledged the new evidence presented by Lady Farina as fact. Therefore, Lady Farina may continue stating her reconstruction of the events. Therefore, Lady Farani can may continue bullshit and everything as it goes. Ugh, that took long enough. Now then, if everyone would lend me their attention. They're guilty, end of story. At this stage, let's revisit that scene from Linny's perspective. Let's revisit that scene from Objection! What the fuck? This is a trial? What is this, Danganronpa? When the countdown started, Linny did indeed go into the tunnel. Mm-hmm. But he immediately used a vent to access the Opera House basement, which is where the underground core of the Oratrice is stored. Once he reached that area, he heard a voice in what should have been an empty room. Since he felt something was amiss, he returned immediately. The crime scene had already developed by the time he reached the tunnel again. And in order to complete the magic trick, he did not remain there for any length of time. Finally, he reached the surface, and that was when the accident happened from his point of view. Therefore, he's innocent! Carrie's clothes, let's all go to Arby's. In other words, you believe that he knew nothing of the incident? Yes, that's ex that was the what? Oh my God, this chick. That's right. Moreover, I believe my opposition reasoning is flawed. <laughs> my reasoning? The onstain equipment was clearly tampered with in a premeditated fashion. However, you say that Cowell bumped into Lene by chance. If that's the case, then if Cowell hadn't entered the tunnel, who was the entire setup meant to kill? Assuming that what you say is true. Linny only needed to kidnap the young girl to cause a new disappearance case. What would the point of killing someone on stage be? Oh, they have a point. Hell yeah. Finally, we're winning over the crowd. Well, your denial is very strident. I'll give you that. But what proof do you have to back your claims? And what proof do you have to back your claims? You're a god. I can go talk to Nahida, I can call her up on my phone and be like, hey, what actually happened? Lenny wasn't in the box or in the tunnel. That's why he didn't hear anything strange during the performance. This means that when the crime happened, Lenny had already entered the basement via the vent. The same clue you used to disprove his alibi has now become the best proof. <laughs> How do you like that? She just freaks out, floods Fontaine. Then, if it wasn't Linny who committed the crimes, then who was it? That's the question at hand. What I must do next is recreate the truth. What Cowell did, and how he went from would-be perpetrator to victim. Cool, we're making a manga. Lynette escaped from the water tank, vanishing gradually and leaving only clothes behind. If there's a similar method where a person could be transformed into water... <laughs> oh, just a moment, please. I do hope you know how preposterous you sound at the moment. Shut up. I trust the Traveler's judgment. The truth must be out there somewhere. Perhaps a new line of reasoning may open if we try to gather all the focal points that don't make sense. Since Cal was the deceased, we haven't placed much attention on him. Uh-huh. But given that we aren't making much progress with the case, it wouldn't hurt to have a look at his belongings, would it? Guards, please step into the lounge and examine the personal effects of the deceased, Cal. After some time, a guard returns with some nudes. We found, uh, water. We water. are still examining the items, but we have already made critical progress that we feel must be shared with everyone post-haste. We discovered several test tubes of fluid within Cowell's baggage, each labeled separately. Uh-huh. The notebook in his backpack claims that these fluids are... water from the Primordial Sea. <gasps> the Primordial Sea? You've gotta be kidding! 
people dissolving into water? Could something so ridiculous actually be true? Well, we just found the evidence. Wait a moment. This reminds me of a certain prophecy, but it's just a coincidence, isn't it? It is undeniable that further examination of the deceased's personal effects has yielded some surprising results, but we cannot yet verify the veracity of these clues. Still, let us assume that these clues are indeed authentic, albeit with the understanding that Ms. Halsey has yet to be found. She's water. Guards, please continue examining the items along these lines. Thank you, Your Honor. We were just inspecting the luggage of the other people involved in this case. And we found an identical sample of the water from the Primordial Sea among Linny's personal effects. They're planted. What? That can't be. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, how wonderfully comedic to have your own counterattack only to come back and wound you. My loyal audience, allow me to present my reasoning and bring this performance to a swift close. Someone died. Hell oh, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. And it's Ace Detective time on time! Here's exactly what happened. Her panic only intensified after she entered the tunnel and had water poured on her head. So she kicked the door open, producing the thud we all heard. Hearing the commotion, Cowl leapt into the tunnel, only to discover that Lillianne had not dissolved. He did not know that Lillianne was not from Fontaine, but was a thief who made her way in by stealing a ticket. Mistakenly believing that the water from the Primordial Sea needed time to take effect, he tried to force Lillianne back into the box. The two broke the flower vase during the struggle, but Lillianne came out on top, knocking Cowl out and putting him in the box. With no way of escaping, she changed her clothes and hid in the costume trunk until the performance ended. Now then, Lady Farina, do you wish to speak against the defense's statements? Of course I do. <laughs> They're all lying. Please answer the question, Lady Farina. Also, if I may add, the trial has not yet ended. As such, I request that the prosecution not leave the room before the proceedings have concluded. <sighs> what? Are you reading my mind now? Yes, your predictable AF. <sighs> no, I have no further arguments. I admit defeat. But really, could you at least have left me with some dignity? No, someone is dead. We're the best attorneys ever. She's staring right at me. Lene is staring right at me. 